off. So before we start, let me introduce myself. Yeah, my name is Evelyn. You guys know me. Uh, some people call me Evie. It's good to see all of you. Um, I have with me today Ming, who is also one of my students, who's also a postgrad um, in maths. She will be uh, demoing. So in case you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can actually look at her. All right. Now, um, today's class is Mad Advanced. I know some of you are a little bit kind of um, afraid. You don't have to be because I'm going to give you options. Um, I like to tell you that today's theme is a lot of mobility to the kidney and ankle joint, as well as a lot of upper body strength. So if you have any issues with the wrist or anything, you can modify for your elbows at any point of time. All right. So everybody's audio off, but it'd be nice to see your video so I can see everyone. Um, so before we start, give me a thumbs up that you're ready. Thumbs up. Okay, this is also thumbs up. No, thumbs up is this way. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's get started, shall we? So let's go into quadruped, which means all four. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. So I want everyone to settle down. I'll wait for everyone so I can see everyone. Yes. So make sure your back is lined and flat. You are on equal weight on both your arms and both your knees. So just a gentle shift forward and back. So it's a small shift. Shift forward towards your hand. Shift forward back towards your legs. So you want to kind of feel the weight shift towards the arm and towards the leg. Now then after that, this, this side shifting forward and back, come back to the center where you can actually feel that they are all equal on both your arms and both your knees. Okay? Now this is the eight sequence. Those who join me in math class will probably know the sequence, but if not, I'll go through it with you. Number one is go to a round back. Number two, you're going to go into an arch back by opening up to the breastbone, chest up. Good. Number three, flatten up your back, kick both your feet towards us. So tail wagging. Number three is wag your tail towards the right. And then wag your tail to the left. And then come back in the center. Let's have your arm closest to us. Let's lift it up towards the ceiling. So I want you to rotate towards the uh, wall in front of you. And then you tuck it under. That's number six. You can bend your arms. You can put your hands like this. The other arm rests down. Then switch sides. Let's have the other arm away. That's seven. And then eight, tuck it under. So you're adding rotation to the movement. So we want you to try to stretch our upper back a little bit. Come back to it again. On all fours, number one, round back. Number two, chest open. Number three, that's in your back, whack your tail to the right. Uh -uh. Four, whack your tail to the left. Good. Number five, right arm up towards the ceiling. Six, tuck it under into rotation. Seven, left arm up. Eight, exhale, tuck it under. We're going to go through it one more time so you know the sequence. Number one, round back. Number two, chest open. Number three, wag your tail to the right. Look towards your feet. Four, wag your tail to the left. Five, right arm up. Six, tuck it under. Relax the arms and head. Seven, the other arm off. Eight, tuck it under. So this is your eight sequence quadruped. All right, so from here, I want you to come back with quarter pad, lift your knees up, and if you can, let's straighten your legs towards plank, if you can. Now bring your right leg towards, between your knee, between your hands. So you're gonna go to a piriformis stretch. So those who find it a struggle, you're more than welcome to bend your back knee. It's too much for you, all right? If you could, straighten that leg and see if you can reach it out forward. So you're gonna get a little bit more piriformis stretch. And if you can, let's go away towards that front foot. So if you have your right knee forward, look towards the right diagonal or left diagonal. Come back in, hands underneath your shoulders. Let's tuck your toes down there, switch legs. Let's have the other leg off. So make sure the knees are between your hands. Yep. And then if you can, I want you to go down as far as you can. If you can't, it's all right. Depending on how flexible you are. Now then after that, just walk your body to a diagonal. It's where your foot is. So that's the diagonal. All right, we go through a bit of stretches before we start. Now come here back to see the position. So you guys will probably have your right leg forward. So we are in a Zach sit. All right, so I know some of us will be really, really tight on our head. So start with the right leg forward, left leg to the side. 
So now, if you want to, you can use the first few with the hands on the floor, or you have the hands up. So that's it, right foot forward, left shins is against that mat. So if you could have the hands up, let's zax it, turn the knee and hip to the other side, away from it. And then turn back to the front. You're gonna move through the hip jump. Let's go, zax it, across. Follow us, Juanita, zax it. So we're doing zax it from right to left. Do two more. So when you turn to, to away from us, you will have the left leg in front. And when you turn towards us, it's the right leg forward. One more time, zax it behind. That's it in front. Let's swap legs. Let's have the left leg forward, right leg back. So it's basically like a Zach or Z. So now you're gonna have the left leg forward. Let's turn away from us to the back. So now you're gonna have the right leg forward and then turn it back to the front. So just opening through the internal and external rotators of your hip. So these are really good if you're really, really tight to the hip joint. Just do it three more. So we'll just go back. Go front. Now, if you need a little bit of assistance, you can have your hands on the mat. That is completely fine. You want to make sure you maintain that length in your spine. You got last one. Hold it out. Relax your shoulders. Leave the ears away. And walk okay. All good. So now I'd like you to allow your tummy, everyone. So basically, on your prone position. So try not to have your nose touching the floor. So I like you to have your hands like T shape or A shape. So if you have less space, Bring it to A shape. You get more space, bring it to T shape, depending on how big your room is. So let's have the leg which is further away from us. Let's bring it towards the opposite hand. We call this a T stretch. So you can turn your head away. Let's shift over. If it doesn't touch the floor, it's okay. The other way. So you want to try to open up through that hip, that thigh, and the back, and change. Let's go. You can turn your head away, reach that foot. Try to reach that foot towards your hand. Wherever that hand is. One last one. Switch over to the other side. I did say it's a little bit of movement before we start. Let's come back into the center. Let's have your hands underneath your shoulders here. So preferably underneath your armpit. Elbows are sticking out. Legs are nice and long. So eye gaze is slightly just looking down towards the mat. Now inhale, I like you to lift your chest up. Hold it back. Now reach your hands behind. So float your hands behind. You really got to use your abdominals here. Good. And then place your hands underneath. And then come back down. So the elbows are almost like pointing back like a grasshopper. So inhale, chest up. Reach your hands back. Hold it back. Now lift your leg up. Really draw your abdominals in. Bring your arms forward. Hold. So there's a little bit more endurance for your back. Away with the shoulders. Stay there for a little longer. Lengthen that leg, keep it nice and long. And now we're going to go swimming. Now, as you're doing swimming, I want you to try to do this swimming at least for a minute. You want to keep your body as still as possible. Keep going. Follow that position. You can see she maybe is doing a really good job. She's keeping her body really, really still. And see, I want to see from here, from the screen, that everyone is doing this for at least a minute. So make sure you breathe. Looking good, everyone. Everyone is continuing. Keep going. So make sure you breathe. Keep that chest open, keep that legs nice and long, keep your arms a little wider if you need to. We're not there yet. A minute, it's an endurance exercise for your back. You really got to switch on the abdominals. You've got 15 more seconds to go. It is called swimming for a reason. So you've got 10 more seconds. Make sure you use your breath throughout. Very nice. You've got five, four, three, two, what everybody sit back to child's pose. Ooh, good job. Well done. So now that the stretch is out of the way, we're gonna start the real workout. So we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises, which is called lunges. So I like you to come here into the center so you're on your knees. So make sure your knees are about hip distance apart. So we're gonna go side profile so you can see me better. Now I like you to have your right leg forward. Okay, so you want to make sure this knee is in line with your ankle joint. Hands behind your head or by the side of your hip. Let's do it together. You can flatten your feet behind you or you can have the toes underneath. So I want you to hinge forward. So here is where I want you to draw your knees forward over your toes. But keep that heels down so you get a nice stretch through your ankle joint. Good. And then come back to the center. We're going to do it again. Hinge forward. Whole entire spine. 
Now rotate towards the front leg. Good. Keep your abdominal strong. Stay. Come back in the center. You're going to do that again. Hinge forward into that full lunge. Rotate. Come back to the center. Now instead of going back, I want you to step that leg forward. Step the other back leg forward. Now that same leg as you step forward, I want you to step it back again. That same leg you step forward, step back. So probably you're lacking. Yes. And you're going to lunge forward. You're going to rotate. And then this time you're going to return back into center. Step that front leg behind. Okay, so whichever leg, so we're going to have that same leg forward and back, all right? So, probably your right leg forward, lunge, hinge, rotate, center, step forward with the back leg. Step back with the same leg, come down, lean forward, lunge, de-rotate, return back to the start. That's one rep. So you're going to do three more on that same leg, right leg forward. Lunge, hinge, rotate. Ready? Return. Back leg steps forward. Yes. That same leg steps back. Drop down to lunge. Lean forward. This time, rotate away. And then return. Step back. Two more to go. Let's go. Lunge. Right leg still in front. Lunge. Lean. Hinge. Rotate. Return to the center, back leg step forward. That same leg step back, lunge, hinge, rotate away, 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 and then come back in, step forward. Or step back, sorry. Whew. So now we have the right leg forward, now we're going to have the other leg. Shake it up. So let's have our left leg forward. So swap legs now. Left leg forward into a lunge. Hands by the side or hands behind your head. Your call. So you're going to hinge forward. Just going to do a couple of traps. Hinge forward and come back in. So make sure the knees again go over the toes. Yeah? And this time you're going to hold it there. Stay. Rotate towards that front leg, which is your left leg. Shoulders away. So make sure nine and long through the spine. Stay, stay, stay. And then come back in and return back. Good. Everybody on clear? We're going to have that left leg forward again. Let's go. Lunge. Rotate towards the front leg. Now, ready where you are? That left, that other leg, that back leg, come back to the step forward. Yes. So you're going to step forward, then step back. Step back. Do the left leg in front. Lunge. Hinge. Rotate to the same side first. Return. Now, the left leg step back. Got it? Good. And do that again. You've got four more. Left leg forward. Lunge. R hinge. Rotate. Return. Back leg steps forward. Now, back leg steps back again. Left leg lunge. This time, hinge. Rotate towards us. Yes. Ready when you are. Return. Step back. Good. Three more to go. Let's go. Left leg forward. We're going to pick up the tempo. Lunge. Hinge. Rotate. Return. Step forward. Same leg step back. Lunge. Hinge. Rotate towards us. Away from that foot. Step back. Woo. Two more. Let's go. Left leg lunge. Down. Hinge. Rotate towards the front leg. And step forward. Yes. Step back with the same leg, lunge, hinge, rotate towards us, and then step back. One more, let's go. Left leg, step forward, I want to see. Hinge, rotate to the front leg, return, step forward. Good. Same leg, step back, same leg, lunge, hinge, rotate away. Good, return, step back. Nice. And come to standing. So everybody into a standing position. Let's go to standing roll down. Inhale up all the way. And then exhale, roll down. So peel your head, shoulders back away from the wall. Good. So again, those are tight. You might want to bend your knees. Ready when you like. And walk forward in four counts into your plank position. 
So here we go, one push up. It's a little bit early, option of course you can do with the knees. One push up, hold, and then go in an inverted V. Good. Now instead of walking your hands back, I want you to jump your feet forward. Good, jump back. One push up. Jump forward. And spam. Almost like a burpee. <laughs> Almost like a burpee. So now you're gonna face the other way of your mat. Good. From there, I like you to look, look at just look at her from a side profile. I like you guys to cross your right foot over your left. So you're gonna take a seat like this. So right foot cross. And then without any hands, stand up. No hands. I said no hands. Okay. Now this time, left leg forward, take a seat. And then stand up. No hands. What do you guys say, guys? We're gonna try that again. Right foot over in front. Let's go. Sit down. Try not to be too comfortable when you're sitting down. Stand up. <laughs> yeah, I can see some hands on the floor. Let's go. Left leg forward. Let's go. Get up on the legs with the hips. Sit down. Stand up. Right, we need to work on that one a little bit more, don't we? So from here, I'd like you to go back to your standing row down, go all the way down. So everybody's a little bit warm. We're only 15 minutes in. Walk forward, forward back. Good. Now this time, I'd like you to bring both your feet, jump into the front, and then take a seat right here. Oof. Into your seated position. So have your feet a little wider than your mat. So this way, yeah. So those who want to have a little bit more or a little less, you can bend your knees. Right? Let's place your arms behind your head. Easier. So I like you to rotate towards us and then return back to the center. Rotate to the other way. So come back in. So remember, rotation comes from your ribs. This is called spine twist. Last one. Rotate your way and back in. Add it on. Rotate towards us. Let's go to a chest lift. So you're going to curl up and over a ball. Top elbows pointing away, chest pointing towards up. Return back to start, stack. Turn away. And roll down, up and over the ball. Into your soul. Inhale back up to the top. And do two more. Exhale, rotate. Show me, guys. Looking good. Can I see your chest? Can I see your chin? Nice. But try not to cover your head with your elbows as you rotate. Right? Because I'm seeing some of you covering your elbows or head face. So try to keep that upper body or head, neck, shoulders more wide and open. Good. Now from there, I like to bring your knees in, everybody. Let's cross your hands if you can. Feet is up. If you can't cross your hands, you can uncross your hands and use like this. Easier, a little bit more challenging. Up to you. Now, what I like you to see is I want to see that a bit of counter pressure. So this is where you can. You show off your biceps today. <laughs> Look towards your mid thighs. Feet it up. Feet up. Find your balance because we're gonna do rolling. Ready when you are. Inhale to come down. Exhale to rise. Now none of your head will touch the floor. So watch out. Make sure there's no furniture behind you. Keep the gaze between your mid thighs. Draw the abdominals in. So I kind of like to use the inhale to lower, and then exhale to rise. One more time. Inhale lower, exhale rise. Hold that position. Hold it at the top. Balance on the back of the sit bones. Hands behind your thighs. Good. Stay that. Now slowly roll down towards your mid back, where your bra strap is or where your heart rate monitor is. Good. Straighten your legs. Bend your knees. Straighten your legs. Bend your knees. Hands behind your head and bend your knees. Straighten your legs and hold. Let's go. Let's bring your legs down a little and up. Make sure to imprint your spine. Bring it down a little and up. Good. This is called double straight leg stretch. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Hold. Let's rotate towards me. And then bend that knee which you're rotated and lower the leg away into your crisscross. Let's change. Exhale, switch away. And again, so shoulders are off, but your mid back is on. You got four. You got three. You got two. 
You got one. And then place your legs back up, hands behind. Ready? Bring your hands down, head down, roll over. Straight into it. Those who need to support it, you can have your hands on your hips. Now exhale, roll your spine down. Once your sit bones touches, have your hands behind your knees, curl up to seated. With the feet off. Good. Make sure you find your balance. Hands by the side. Ready? Roll over. Good. Roll your spine down. Until your lower back touches, I like you to float yourself up. This time, try not to hold your legs. If you can, almost like a teaser or a supported teaser. And then hands down. Roll over. We're going to do it two more. And then roll your spine down. Control your abdominals. Take your time. And then balance yourself up. Good. So it's kind of like a combo of a rollover and a teaser. One last one. Roll over. And then slowly roll back up into your seated position. Hold that. Option, of course, you can bend your knees. Hold. Hold. Use your abdominals if you can. This time, I want you to bend your knees. Stay back. Feet is still up. Hands go inside. So I'll show you from the front profile. Hands go inside and into your ankle joints. So we're going to do seal. So make sure your elbows pushes into your thighs and your thighs pushes into your hands. Right? So no clapping. Just like rolling like a ball. We're going to roll back just to the top of the shoulders and then roll back up. Now try to make sure. Push, pull. Inhale. Exhale. Those who want, I'm going to add clap, 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 clap. One clap if you want, or three claps at the top and at the bottom. Let's go. Clap, clap, clap. Three claps, or two claps, or one clap. Clap, clap, clap. And up. Those who find it's too much, you can always do rolling. Come on, Elaine, I can see you from here. Keep going. One more time. Clap, clap, clap. Hold. Stay in that position. Let's straighten the legs away. Woo. Now, come back into your mat. Let's have a reverse plank. Now, I'm going to give you options. So, we're going to start with a trap. Legs are bent. Knees are bent. Hands are slightly behind your hips. So, fingers can point towards you or away from you. Let's go to a reverse plank or reverse quadruped. We did this earlier. All right? And then return. Can we do that again? Just one more. So this is the easier version. Those who want a little bit more, you can straighten up one leg or you can straighten both legs. So maybe it's going to do one, both legs, I'm going to do single leg. So this is another option if you want. Reverse plank, hold. And come back down. Switch legs for those who have single leg. Reverse plank, hold it up. Nice standing body position. And return. Ready? Now try to keep your feet together. Those who can, both legs straight. Reverse plank and hold. Hold that position. Hold it there. I'm waiting. Chest open. Shoulders open. Eyes look ahead. Breathe. Keep your inner thighs switched on. Right. Go for one more. Right leg up. Three times. Two. One. Switch legs. Left leg up. Those who don't want to, you may need to do this as an option. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you finish, everybody take a seat and reach forward. Woo. Everybody still with me? I like rock. <laughs> Come into high kneeling position. So, let's face the side. Let's go make sure knees are slightly apart. Or you thread if you need to. Ready, let's go side to side. Now make sure the weight is equal on both sides of your legs, side to side. Good, it's nice to see so many people on screen. Up and over. Good, let's bring it towards your right side, everyone, and extend your left leg away. Good, top hands behind your head. Let's go, lift the top legs up, hold. Bring it slightly behind you, but the spine still stays exactly where it is. Make sure the elbows are in line with the wrists. So I want you to have a holding pattern here, chest open, Top elbows towards the ceiling. Good. So you might feel a bit of sensation on the lower part of your glutes. It is okay. It is normal. Okay. It is a bit of endurance here. So now from there, I want you to bring it forward. Hold that position. 
Stay, flex your feet or point, totally up to you. Let's go 10 times, up and down. Upper body stay still. Imagine your back is against the wall. Very nice. I want control movement, 10 repetitions. Two count your own reps. You will have to count them. <laughs> Let me know when we're done. Are we there yet? Yeah, about? Yeah. And then stay. I want you to bend that knee instead of, so try to keep that knee parallel to the floor and then kick it up. Bend the knee and kick it up. So imagine you've got a band, you're pulling the band away. Shoulders and hips stay square. You got four more. You got three. How's the boots? Are they burning? Two. It's burning for, for a reason. One. Hold it up. Let's sweep it forward. Let's sweep it back. Forward. Now emphasize sweeping back rather than forward. Okay, those who find this is too much, you can completely lie down on the side of your body. Now I'm trying to see that your legs still stay as high as your hip. It's not going lower and lower. So imagine your leg is going across, sweeping across a coffee table. Are we there yet? <laughs> Last one. Hold. Stay. Circles. Circles. Ten circles. Keep the upper body still. Do not put your leg down. Not yet. Not till I say so. And then let's reverse it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Not yet. Who's that? Hi, hi, Vivi, please. Come on, Vivi. Five, four, three, two, hold, and then lower that leg. Ooh. Nice sensation. Come to quarter pack. Hold. Let's go. Charles pose and clap. Charles pose and clap. Follow me. Bring your knees down. Charles pose and then clap. Got it? Last one. Charles pose. And then plank and hold. Hold that plank. Now, if you can hold that plank, let's go. Leg pull front. Sweep the leg. So, right leg. Left leg. So, you want to make sure you're brushing the sand off. You want to keep the upper body still. Breathe. So you got four. Three. None of your hips are sticking out. None of your sit bones are coming up. I want to see a nice standing body position. Hold. Good. And then from here, come into Charles pose for a while. Let's go back to your high knee facing us. And let's go to the other side. One side down, the other side to go. Let's go. High knee side to side. So here's where you want to catch your breath. Because we got one more side to go, the knee side kicks. Guys, we're halfway into our class. So this is where all the favorite exercises, all your favorite exercises are coming up, right? <laughs> right, let's go with towards your left. Let's place your hands underneath the shoulders. And again, extend that right leg away. So again, find your adjustment. If you need to, you can have your hands a little bit further away. But if you want a little bit more challenge, bring your hands a little closer. Top elbows behind your head. Ready when you are. You can lift that leg up. Now, when you lift that leg up, can I see you guys lifting a little bit further back? A little rather than in front of it, in line with your hips, bring it slightly behind your hips. Hold that position. Top elbows towards the ceiling, chest towards us, towards your screen. Good. When you're ready, let's go. What do we start with? Down and up, 10 times. So abduction. So again, moving from your hip joint, upper body still. Now when you tap, it's only a gentle tap. It's not a rest on the floor. It's a tap. Keep going. 10 reps at least. Are we back? Almost. All right. I think you've got one more. Hold it up. Now remember, bend the knee. Make sure your knees and your shins or your inner thighs are parallel to the floor and push away. And again, so this is kind of like a donkey kick, but sideways. So bend your knee and extend. Bend your knee and extend. Keep going, guys. Nobody's stopping. Not under my watch. Keep it up. I want to see from the screen. Make sure the thighs are parallel to the floor. Make sure the knees are in line with your hip. Keep it up, Alex. This is good for your glutes. Keep it up, Anish. Keep your elbows up towards the ceiling, Anish. Thank you. 
Hang in there. Keep it up, Fifi. You're not stopping. Good. Keep it up, Sharon. Everyone is looking good. Now from there, I reckon it's turn. Hold it up. Bring it back first this time. Bring it back. And then sweep it forward. Bring it back. Sweep it forward. How are we doing? You're almost there. This is three. You've got seven more. Sweep forward and sweep back. Try to keep that leg as high as your hip. Come on, sweep forward. Sweep back. Halfway there, not yet. Four. Three. Front and back. Two. Come on, Phoebe. Do not quit on me. Last one. Hold. 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 And then bring it back in. Woo. It is burning. It is supposed to burn. <laughs> now let's come back to your plank, like what we did earlier. All right? Give, it, give yourself a break. Get some water. Now what I like to do is go back to plank. We kind of revisited earlier. We did plank and then a child's pose. Correct? So while you're watching, so next one, you're going to go plank. You're going to lean forward over your fingertips. Now when you go into child's pose, I want your knees to be up. So your shins are parallel to the floor. And plank forward. And then hinge back. Make sure the knees this time doesn't touch the floor. And lean forward. So now your shoulders is over your fingers. And go back. Hinge back. Knees are up. Two more times. Lean forward. Over your fingers. Lean, lean, lean. More, 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 more. Hinge back. Knees are up. Stay. Lift the right leg up. Open hip. Now remember we did the T earlier, right? So make sure your weight is equal. Now bend that knee and try to reach for the opposite shoulder. And even weight on your arms. Switch legs. Left leg up. High V. And then bend that knee. Don't need to touch. Make sure the weight is equal on both your hands. So those who do reformer classes, it's almost like an open hip with bend knee, right? Your arabesque. Bring it up. And then bring it back down to your feet. Come back into jump. Jump in. Sit. Whew. Now let's revisit cross fit feet. Right foot in front. Stand up. Rotate away. Left foot down. Take a seat. Come back forward. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Left foot in front. Stand up. Rotate. And then you're going to have right foot in front. And then take a seat. So you'll be turning from one hand to the other. Right foot, let's look at what Mimi is doing. She turns, and then her left foot crosses, come down, take a seat. Left foot comes up, rotate, right foot comes down. Yeah, okay, we do two more each. Besides watching there. <laughs> We're almost there. Yeah, much better now. You guys are not using your hands as much. One more on each side. Looking good. Ming, are you all right? Yeah. All right, now let's come back down, everyone. Take a seat. Looking good, guys. Well done. Your hips will be really open today. So let's go to your prone position on your tummy. Let's have your hands underneath your shoulders. Good. Lengthen the legs away. We did this earlier. Let's go to a full swan. So chest up. Thighs up, tummy on, and then come back down. So I want you to make sure there's no sagging through the shoulders. I want you to think about opening up to the front of your body, including your thighs. Got it? And then come back down. Now we're going to add rocking to this motion. Ready when you are. Full swan, swan one, pull it up to the top. All right, so imagine yourself like a rocking horse. So you're going to exhale. Inhale. So remember to maintain that crescent shape of your spine. Exhale. Inhale to rise. Use your breath. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keep your legs active. Try to keep your legs long. Try not to bend your knees. Those who want more, extend your arms and then catch yourself back. Extend your arms, catch yourself back. Give me two more. Extend your arms, catch yourself back. Last one. Extend. Hold. Now we're going to do continuous rocking three in a row. So ready when you are, arms goes forward, if you want. Swan three. Go three, two, three more. Then three, two, 
And one, hold it at the top of this one. Now instead of coming down, toes tuck under, go straight into your inverted V. Stretch your back. Back into your inverted V. We're gonna add on. Come down to your plank. Go all the way down to the floor and do a push up. Lengthen your feet. Go into a swan. And I tuck your toes under. Go back into the inverted V. Come forward to a plank. Push up. Go into a swan. Toes tuck under. Draw your abdominals in. Go back into the inverted V. Let's go back forward into a plank. Push up. Swan. Back into inverted V. Good. Last one. Plank. Hold. Hold the plank. Hold the plank. Plank. Holding position. Sitting bones down. Nice standing body position. I want to see everyone planking. Hold the plank. Good. And then knees. On your knees and come to child's pose. Good. Let's come into high kneeling position. All good? <laughs> Pick that in, yes, because we can't hear you, but <laughs> you can hear me. Right, so high knee in a position, knees are only hip distance apart, feet come together or slightly apart. Hands in front of you, let's go to a thigh stretch. So hinge back, your entire spine and the top of your skull hinges back as one more unit. So hinge back, draw your abdominals in. Got it? So if you want it easier, hands by the side. If you want a little more, hands in front. So imagine, like I always say, imagine the Michael Jackson movement. If you don't know who Michael Jackson is, you probably Google that one. Okay, it's back and hold. Good. Right arm comes up and reach for your foot. If you can, left arm comes up and reach for your foot into extension. Chest up towards the ceiling, hold that position. Right arm comes up, left arm comes up. Take a seat. Everybody all right with that? Good. Now tuck your toes under. So you're basically on the balls of your feet. Your heels are on. Now what I want you to do, you can have your feet a little wider. So Amelia, I'm uh, getting into a full squat. So if you want to roll up your mats, please do. Thank you. So from here, I want you to have your knees up, everyone. So your heels are up. And then climb your heels down. Almost to a squat. Good. And then heels up. High kneeling. And then knees comes down. So I'm going to move through your ankle drum. So you cannot see me, watch. So sit your butt down, knees off, and then heels down. And then heels off. And then knees down, hips up. Let's try that again. Hips down, knees off, heels down, heels off, knees down, high knee. All good? So we're adding up the standing move motion. So, hips down, knees off, heels down, stand up, into a full squat, into like a squat. Then, go into your squat, all the way down. Option, of course, you can have your heels off, but make sure your shoulders are stacked above your hips. Knees down, high knee. Can we do that again? Hips down, knees off, heels down, stand up. Good. Squat all the way down, heels off, knees down, high kneeling, hinge back now to thigh stretch, we did this earlier, come back to high kneeling, hinge back again, two more, I want you guys to feel that thigh, last one, hinge back and hold, hold that position, you want to feel that burn the front of your legs, quads, good, come back to high kneeling, sit down, up down, Knees off, heels down, stand up. Hey, we're gonna do that full sequence. Ready? Full squat. Heels up, knees down, high knee, hinge back, come back high knee, butt down, knees off, heels down, stand up. One, you got one more to go. Full squat, heels up, knees down, high knee. Hinge back, come back up, and everybody knees off, heels down, stand up. Nicely done, good job. Let's go to your lunge, right foot forward, hands behind. 
Hinge forward, step back. We banded earlier. Left leg forward, lunge, hinge forward. Step back, that's that rotation. Right leg forward, lunge, rotate towards the front leg. Return, change leg. Left leg, lunge forward, rotate to this front leg. Return, last one, lunge forward. This time, rotate away from the front leg, back to the front, step back. One last one, lunge the other leg, rotate away from the front leg, away, come back in, step up, and let's go to a standing rose up. Good, from that, walk, four, three, two, one, plank. Let's turn towards us, into your side plank. So option, that means if you need to, all right? This is your option, if you want a little less, that bottom knees bent. Side plank here, if you can, stack your feet. Top arm and leg lift three times. Two, option bottom knee down. One, come back in, plank. Go back into jump. And then stand up. Inhale. Exhale, roll back down. It is a workout, everyone. Jump back or step back. Now, side plank the other way. So the other side, side plank the other way. So I'm gonna have my back again. <laughs> you can have the option of bottom knees down. Let's go. Top arm, top leg, lift off three times. I'm gonna see everyone. Good. Two. Keep your body still. I know keep your body still and keep the legs long. There you go. Come back in. Plank. Stay. Now, jump forward with both feet. Take a seat. Straighten your legs. Hands behind your head, hinge back, seated, and lean forward. Hinge back, and curl forward. Hinge back, hinge, just now we did it in high knee. Curl forward, hinge back and hold. And then roll your pelvis away, roll your pelvis bone by bone away. Option of course, you can have one hand in front or both hands in front, into your neck too. And again, inhale. Ming is going to do it with both hands behind the head. I'm going to do the option. Exhale, peel the rest of your spine, bone by bone off. So this is an easy option if you need to. All right? Now, nose stick out towards your toes, open up the chest, and then into an upright. Hinge back. And roll. So those who can, both hands behind your head. Those who want less, one hand in front. And again, inhale. Exhale, peel your spine off the mat. Got it? And then look away towards the toes, open up the chest. Last one, everyone. Try to keep your hands behind your head if you can. Hands back. Curl, roll your pelvis away slowly, bone by bone. Max. And then from that curl forward, hold that position. Good. And then this time, stack. Bend your knees. Almost there. Sit back forward a little. Let's bring your legs off and come down towards where your bra strap is or what your monitor is. Got it? Right, ready when you are. Straighten both your legs. Now extend that other leg, left leg away, and bring your right foot close towards you. Now that foot may not touch the floor. You can have it a little higher for easier or a little lower for a little bit more openness. So I want to see that your pelvis stays continuously stacked on the mat. Let's switch legs, seize your legs. So single straight leg stretch. I want to see push and pull. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You've got four, you've got three, you've got two more, looking good. And one hold. This time bring both your legs up. And again, bring your hands behind. And lower the leg away. And up. Those who want left, bend your knees. Lower your leg away. This is the easier option, I'm sure. Me. You can follow me if you want a little bit more. Last two. Make sure your belly doesn't bulge. Last one. Hold that position away. Hold. Hands by the side. Let's go to hundreds. Inhale. Exhale. Make it easier. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale. Inhale, bend. 
exhale straighten. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, go, inhale. And exhale, we got 40 more, those one less, straighten your legs to the ceiling. Last 30, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three. Last 20, almost there, not yet. Last 10, four, three, two, and one. Give yourself a hug. Well done. That 100 was a little bit of a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> Wasn't written in my notes, but that's a nice surprise. Let's bring your arms behind you, stretch it out. We're not done yet. This is where the best, best 15 minutes of your life. Let's bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Peel your head and shoulders up. Lift the right leg off into your single leg teaser. All right, and then roll back down. To mountain into either leg and upper body. Arms up, peel your head and shoulders off. Left leg rise up, shoulders away. Good, and then roll back down. Those who want a little less, you can back half the knees bend. This time, both legs come up, inhale. Exhale, both legs rise up into your full teaser. Option, of course, you can bend your knees, that's fine. And then roll back down. Lengthen, two more times, arms up, head, shoulders up, curl yourself right up to the top. Option, bend knees if you need to, use your abdominals. And then roll back down. One last time. Arms up, roll and hold. Stay. Right foot crosses over your left. Arms to the side. Lower the legs and circle your arms back and over into your spine stretch. We're gonna get you guys ready for boomerang. Now hands by the side, bring them in your up. We're gonna go do a rollover. Inhale, exhale. Kick your leg over your head. Spine comes up, quick change with the leg. And then come back up to teaser, into your seat up position. And then as you lower the leg, circle your arms up and over into your boomerang. Good, or oh, nice one, something to call it. Hands by the side, roll over, exhale. Inhale, swap legs. And exhale to curl into your teaser. Arms a little bit apart. And then circle and up and over into your dying swan. Show me. Two more. Roll over. Quick change on the leg. Good. And then come into your teaser. Come on. Slightly behind your sitting bones. And then come up and over. One last one. I'm looking at everyone. Everyone is doing well. Let's go. Roll over. Last one, I promise. Roll over. Quick change on the leg. Now come up to teaser. Everybody, Anish, come up a little higher in your teaser with your spine. Thank you. And then take a seat. Up and over. Good. Now we're going to do a couple more inversions. So bear with me. So you're going to lie back down. Now those who don't want to do the inversion, this is your option. You can do a couple of bridging. All right? Those who can, which most of you can, looking at you guys doing boomerang, let's bring both your feet up, straight up towards the ceiling, hands down, head down, bring your legs away, bring your legs over the top, hold. Now make sure your elbows are in line with your shoulders, you're going to place your hands to the back pocket of your jeans, so closer towards your pelvis or hips, not your lower back, all right? So you're holding on to your own pelvis. Now bring your legs away, a little higher, into a jackknife, almost in a jackknife. Now extend the right leg away, Caesar. So think about two o'clock and 10 o'clock. Two o'clock and 10 o'clock, right? Try to go away from you rather than towards you. So those who don't want to, you're more than welcome to just do a basic rollover. You got four, away, three, less weight on your arms, more weight on your abdominals. Think about the hips going upwards, and then go into bicycle, ready where you are. Extend that leg away, and then bend, and then switch. Basically cycling, upside down. You got four, you got three, you got two, you got one. Reverse it, one, and two. Try to bring that leg a little bit further away, opening up the hip, three, Two more. Last one. 
Bring your legs over. Roll down, roll down, roll down, roll down. Hands down. Bring it away. And all the way down. Whew. Let's turn sideways now. Let's go towards which is your strongest side. If you're right-handed, I want you to go towards your left side first. So if you can, let's go to your left side plank. All right? But if you are left-handed, go towards your right, whichever works, okay? So let's go to your left side or right side, your least dominant side first, okay? So let's go to a side plank option. Of course, you can be on your, you can be on your knees or you can be on your elbows, depending on what works for you, okay? Let's go into a side plank, everyone. Hold that side plank. Now, I want the feet to be steady. So if you're always uh, having that top leg in front, today I'm going to challenge you Put that top leg behind. You're not going to like this. Usually, whichever leg you always put in front, put it behind. Just for a little bit challenge. Arms goes overhead. Arms goes up. Look towards your hands. Ready? You're going to rotate. Curl your head, shoulders. You're going to go to a twist. And then you're going to de-rotate to the front. And look up. You've got three more. Exhale. I want you to spiral your spine. Last one rises your hips. And de spiral to come back up. Give me two more. Show me. You're going to curl. Come on, Fifi. You're not watching. You got to try. <laughs> Keep going. Yes. Last one, I believe, after this. So curl. So at the end point, I want to see the hips at the highest point on that rotation. Good. And once you're finished, come back to the Back. Let's show me your reverse plank again. So hands behind. We did this earlier. So let's revisit again. Let's go to reverse plank and come back down. Option one leg bent. Okay. Reverse plank. Hold and down. This time a full reverse plank with a leg lift. Let's lift up. Go to one more. Right leg up. Switch without letting it collapse. Left leg up, alternating. And down. Two more on each side. Right. And down. Left. And down. Two more. Last one. Hold. And then come back down seated. Let's go to your side. Plank. The other side. Now is your stronger side. Your right, right hand underneath. So Anisha, left-handed, I can see, so you're on the left side. That's good. So now, again, let's go into your full side plank. Option, of course, you can bend your knees. Now, if you're so used to having that front leg in front, my challenge to you today is have that front leg behind, top leg behind. So whatever work, works for you, all right? Whichever leg you always put in front, today I want you to put it behind. Let's bring your arms up over your head. Bring it up towards the ceiling. Ready when you are, rotate. Heel. So you're really going to turn your body. Hips goes up and then de-rotate back up. You've got four. You've got three more. Exhale. So think about rotating from your spine as your side bending here, right? Now make sure the weight needs to be anchored on your blade of your foot because that's your supporting for your body, for your upper body. And last two. Is it the last one? Four, right? Up to the top, hold, and then take a seat. This time, i like you to go back into lying down. Do a rollover. And then let's bring your hands behind your hips if you want. But if you can, let's have your hands on the mat. Let's lift both the legs into a shoulder stand, or known as jackknife. And then come back to 45 degrees. And again, inhale into your chat knife, almost there guys. And then make sure as you come back down, hold, roll your spine down nice and slow. We're gonna revisit that chat knife again. Bring your legs as close as possible towards the mat, and then roll up, hold. Option, you can support your hips if you want less, okay? Bring your legs up towards the ceiling, You're almost there guys. And then hold, bring it to 45 without letting your hips collapse. Good. Stay. Hands down. Roll down nice and slow. Good. Bend your knees. Okay, from here, I like you to roll yourself up towards seated. Straighten your legs if you can. And then 
straighten and bend. Straighten your legs, grab the front of your shins, grab the other shin, sag from your legs, flex your feet and hold. Open leg rockers next. Now everybody chat, this doesn't look pretty. I want your eyes to open up the chest and shoulders. Add in a rolling position, ready when you are. Inhale, exhale, bounce on the top of your sit bones. Keep going. So again, we did this earlier, those who want less, you can stay with a rolling position. This is the easier option. Last two. Come on. <laughs> Last one. Keep your legs long, everyone. Long, long legs. Come on, baby. Straighten your legs. Hold. Hold. Hold that position. We're almost there. And then cross your feet. Good. Come into plank. Waiting for everyone. Good. Let's come into your side plank here. Yeah? Basically, it's your left side. Come back to plank. Side plank, the other side. Good, come back in. This time, step or jump, both your feet forward. Stand up. Good. Now, let's have the right leg behind. Step back. Lunge. Hands up. Extension. And flexion, extension, and step behind. Good. So now let's have the other leg. I believe it's your right leg forward. Come down to your lunge. Extension to the chest. Round back. Extension to the chest. Use your abdominals. And flexion. And again, extension. Back in the center. Step forward. So now we'll forget about the arms, we're just only going to use the legs. So right leg steps back, lunge without having the knees coming off. So now the back knee is not touching the floor. Lunge, hold that position. Rotate towards me, rotate away, step back. Whew. Now left leg step forward, lunge without the back knee touching the floor, rotate towards the front leg. Rotate away, step back this time. Ooh. One last one. Right leg forward, lunge without the back knee touching. Rotate, rotate the other way, keep that back knee off. Step back. Last one, I promise. Back and forward, lunge. Rotate towards me, rotate away, and center, step back. Everyone, let's take a deep breath in right to the top. Exhale, come down, send your knee down. Almost there. Walk your hands forward in four, three, two, one. For good measure, let's do one proper push up. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Inverted V. Take a little breather here. Try to step your heels down as much as you can to get a nice stretch in your calves. Good, now walk your hands back in. Four, three, two, one. Make sure the weight is all more on the midfoot, forefoot. Roll back up. Keep the standing. Inhale up. Stay there with the hands above your head. Stay where you are. Let's go to side bend. Let's go to the side bend to the other side. And let's go to hands behind. Place your hands behind you. Open up the chest towards the ceiling. Release your hands. Roll the shoulders away. And guess what? We're done for today. Thank you very much, guys. Well done. I hope you enjoy yourself.